What's up guys, welcome back to the ASAP Automotive channel and today we're back at it working on the uh, LSTJ here, or Project 6.0 and today we're going to be showing you how to install a short throw shifter in it. Said, we're going to be today. We're going to be showing you how to install a short throw shifter. Um, this particular episode is for our, you know, LS swap that we're doing in this TJ with this with the 6.0 in here. Um, we're doing this because in our case we had to move the whole drivetrain about two and a half, two and three quarters of an inch forward, and our stock shifter wasn't going to cut it because when you go to shift into first through fifth, you were hitting the dash. Um, but and, you know, if you're actually just looking to put a short throw shifter in your Jeep, um, this would be a great video. Uh, we've already got the center console and stuff out from earlier, but you know, uh, we're going to show you the meat of this. I mean, getting the center console out of this thing is really nothing but a few screws, anyways. So we've been dealing with Novak with a lot of parts and stuff on this one, and in their guide, they, they talk about um, going through here and actually cutting this right here. And adding a piece and extending it back to give to put the shifter away from the dash well um, that that obviously works and, and stuff we were gonna go that route and we got to thinking we had so many issues with the shifter being you know it's old it's wore out somebody's already been in here and screwed up the releases and stuff and it's got a rubber bushing in there which adds more slop in it anyways we're like I wonder if we could find a good short throw shifter or something um, or something along those lines to go ahead and um, just update it while we're at it because we're looking at new shifters alone and then modifying them we're like man the money was crazy and literally for about the same money or less we're able to find this one here and what this unit is is an Allstate 30617 this is a short throw shifter for an NV3550 um, I think it'll actually work for the AX15 not quite sure uh, you might want to look for your particular application. I'm pretty sure it will though. So there are some other shifters out there like B&M. I think Hearst makes one. There's a handful of other companies out there. They're a lot more money. Uh, and, you know, in a project like this, stuff can rack up really quick. And, you know, for the quality of this shifter, I mean, we, I think we ended up for about 140 bucks out the door, somewhere in that ballpark, uh, compared to three or $400. And if we've heard of other guys still having issues with those with either still hitting or something like that. Um, not sure, we didn't go that route, so I can't say for sure. Me and him and Hurst are obviously great shifters, has been around for years, not knocking them by no means, but um, for an economical choice and for something that works great, um, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, and what we're gonna do is show you guys how to go ahead and swap this thing out and get in there and eliminate your shifter hitting the dash issues when you do one of these LS swaps. Okay, so like I said, you know, we've already got the center console out of this thing because uh, earlier when we were pulling the drivetrain out and all that, we went ahead and removed it. But like I said, in, in most of these Jeeps, it's nothing but a few screws. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, we get a chance later on, we can run across one, we'll shoot a video with that. But I'm pretty sure I think we shot some footage of us removing it before. Um, anyways, so we've already got this thing pretty gutted apart and all this for other reasons, stuff we were doing. But you don't have to really go that deep tearing and all that apart. What you're going to be after are these four bolts with a uh, should be like an eight millimeter head down here at the base and you're going to go ahead and take all four of those out and go ahead and pull it on out and just like that boom with the magic of film you can see what we've got to work with here we've already cleaned up our mating surface cleaned out the cup and everything here and um what we're going to do now is go ahead and set the new one in and the way it comes is actually just like so. I'll show you guys just how we got it out of the package. So, comes just like this. <clears throat> and of course, the way the shifter is angled back is how it's gonna mount. And if you'll notice, it's got a little more on this side than it does that side. You can see how it's offset. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to get it out of whack but just kind of pay attention to what you're doing you got this gasket assembly here which is like a metal it's got like a metal core it's pretty solid rubber or something so what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to 
mount it on here like so. Like you see this dished part with the, the lips little all around here. That's gonna go on just like you now. And it's gonna fight you a little bit, but best thing to do is kind of start walking around those bushings. Come down and just like so. I'm gonna work around and make sure you got these all up around like you need them. And guys, I apologize. I'm just getting over being uh, with a nice head cold from the holidays. So, um, so I'm sorry if my voice is kind of going in and out. But that's what you're gonna end up with right there. And you'll notice how that's gonna fit in around these little indentations and all that fun jazz. So what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure this goes down in the hole here. And this is pretty cool guys like like i was saying a lot of places you try to get just this plastic bushing and i've seen it like up to 50 something dollars um this same actual plastic little bushing is say used in a lot of the gm transmissions like the s10s and the Ranga or uh dakotas all this kind of stuff this little bushing got around was in a ton of different nv transmissions um but uh yeah we looked up man they were anywhere from like i don't know i've seen them as cheap as maybe 16 20 bucks but up to like 50 you know, it's insane um, not to mention just these bases and stuff, man. Just trying to find a stock one was almost $200 at some point. So to find a good short throw shifter um, for, for this kind of money, um, we, were, we were pretty stoked. So um, what we're going to do is, like I said, you want to make sure that sits down in there. So just kind of nice and easy. And it'll just kind of slide it on down just kind of jiggling on around and you'll feel the base kind of sit down and you can kind of tell that you know we're we're in there uh you'll know it real quick if you're not so don't try to you know to bow down on it force it down you'll end up breaking something and you don't want to do that so now what we're going to do is take our bolts that i've got somewhere over here hidden who knows what we did with them there we go why I use magnetic trays normally, but um, wasn't paying attention. What we're gonna do is put all these bad boys back in here and snug these down. I'm sure, there's probably a torque spec somewhere in there, but I couldn't really find one on it. So, um, but just good, and, good and snug. You don't want to over tighten them because I mean you can break them pretty easy. Let's see. All right. All right. And what I use is I typically use on something like this is just a little quarter inch drive ratchet with an extension because you're going to pretty have a pretty hard time over tightening or breaking some of that. I mean, it is possible, but no need to go use a real big three eighths ratchet or something. That's what you got. Cool. No problem. But we're going to go ahead and tighten these down, and we're going to show you go ahead and mount the shifter assembly on next. All right, so now that we got our base bolted down and everything's you know, in line and all that, now what we're going to do is put our shifter assembly on. And uh, what we're going to do is we've got two set screws here and then a, um, a main screw on the top side here. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of blue Loctite on all of those, and then we're going to go ahead and snug them down. We uh, couldn't find any spec on any of these things as for torque or anything, but same thing, you'll feel it uh, getting good and snug, so don't, you know, don't get crazy with it or anything. But, uh, rub that down, and then so get that, and we'll go ahead and Pull these set screws out one at a time. Uh, I would recommend just using the blue on these. I wouldn't go crazy with the red. Um, just in case you ever do need to pull them back out for any reason. Might have a fun time getting them back out.
Okay guys, so one thing I did notice was this screw was bottoming out already before it actually pulled this uh, the shifter down. So what I'm gonna do is actually uh, get a lock washer and put behind here, because it was just barely enough, but that should be enough to give us some bite on there to go ahead and pull it on down. And then after we get that down, then we'll go ahead and set our set screws. All right guys, so went and found a little lock washer um, in my never ending pile of uh, miscellaneous hardware and stuff to go ahead and cinch this on down. Like I said, just had enough that it wouldn't really tighten it down, so, which we are definitely good there. So, um, and I think this is a six millimeter here. I think these other ones are like a four millimeter. Um, cool little tool like this, you can get it even like Lowe's or Home Depot, they sell them uh, sometimes at parts stores. Um, or you can get you a cool little T-handle set of Allens and Torx and stuff. You can find them um, Same way parts stores. I think will have them uh, or you can find them at like Harbor Freight something like that or any tool truck. So um, That being said, we're gonna go ahead and snug these others two down And then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys um, Cool little shift knob we got for this thing um, After this Okay guys, so <laughs> they gave us um, this, uh, I think it's more like a YJ kind of shifter knob on here. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's neat, you know, it gets the job done. But being as cool as this project is and what we're doing, it just really wasn't cool enough. So we opted to go with a Chevrolet shift ball. I mean, because why not? Jeep makes it, Chevy shakes it, right? So <clears throat> that being said, we found this little kit um off the internet um i think it was ebay or something like that but you can find anywhere uh the biggest thing you want to make sure of when you're doing this guys is make sure your thread pitch um i can't remember exactly what the pitch is on this but i know it's the same as the the stock um and <coughs> like with this one here actually came with a threaded adapter so what you all right so what we're doing for our particular application with this particular shift knob is we've threaded that little brass insert all the way in uh, to where we made sure it's got good contact in there. I think it's an M10 by 1.5 thread pitch, if I remember correctly on this, so don't quote me on that. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and thread this bad boy all the way in. And we know this thing will clear over the shifter, no problem. Uh, and it will go ahead and thread this bad boy on down like, like meow. So, uh, you don't have to get crazy with it or anything like that. Um, if you want to put your little blue Loctite or something on there, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't get too crazy with it, but, uh, of course you don't want to put this back on until you put all your shift boot and everything back on. We're just doing it for, you know, demonstration purposes right now. That's why I haven't tightened anything down, but as you can see, it looks pretty cool and everyone will know definitely what's under the hood now. So, but major, major improvement. <clears throat> like we said, the problem we had before, guys, was you go to shift up into first, third, or fifth, and you were all up in the dash, which is no fun. So, uh, Novak's method will work, um, no doubt about it. Um, this guy's been in it for many years doing this stuff and other stuff. But, um, you know, uh, finding this was definitely a huge timer saver for us, not having to cut that, try to weld it in, and try to figure out where it's a good position and all that. <clears throat> man this thing just fell right into place it's going to be perfect we're not hitting up there we're not hitting back there so depending on what kind of console setup you got you know even still you know with a cup holder you're still pretty good you know if you gotta hold your beverage or whatever there but we're pretty stoked about it i think it's gonna be great for this project and it saved us a lot of time and for 140 bucks couldn't beat it man that's a wrap on another episode here on our uh, project 6.0 or lstj um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helps some of you guys out doing one of these kind of projects or even if you just want to put a short throw shift here in your Jeep because I mean, why not? Remember, stock is not an option. So, but huge shout out to all state gear. Um, they make a great product, man. We're excited to use this thing, kind of see how it works. I think reliability is going to be great. Seems like it's built really well. So we're going to put a link to below, uh, in the description and all that for you guys, uh, as to where to get one of these things, you know, if you're in the same boat. So. Uh, no, they didn't provide it for us. We're not sponsored or anything like that. 
this is true honest to goodness just hey we're pretty happy and stoked with it so remember guys until next time thanks so much for watching uh liking and subscribing it means the world to us you know we're a small channel where i think at this moment we're filming we're like 300 some subscribers but we love every bit of this we do what we love um this is so cool we're so happy seeing it it's helping people a lot of positive feedback so <coughs> i'm telling you guys man, I'm trying to get over this cold but so if you haven't already liked, subscribe, stuff really helps. Uh, take your friends and family, you know, somebody might enjoy it. Remember, until next time, stock is not an option.